Hey guys. Welcome to day one of our virtual photo shoot and virtual dealer meeting. We wish you all could be here. We're sorry you can't, but we're going to do the best we can to show you every boat, show you the best features of all these boats. And right now I'm standing on the new 2021 2286 SBX. This boat is just awesome. This is Wally Ross. Wally joined us a few months back. Wally's going to be our, our is our product manager for pontoon boats. Wally, tell me about this boat. This is exciting. I am, I am so excited about how great this floor plan is. What we have here is the flagship of the Sweetwater Experience line. Last year, we had four CX models. We've expanded that to 13. And again, the 2286 SBX is the flagship of the entire line. The 22 foot boat, we've got sofas up front, chase laybacks, We've got mate's chair. Is this standard, Wally? Is this the Absolutely. way I'm going to get this boat this in the This is a standard layout for oh, this wow, that's model. Cool. That's great. And then big sofas in the back, rear gate. Wow, this is so good. Tell me about the helm. So at the helm, we've got our standard gauge package. We've got a tack, an hour meter, fuel level, volt meter. We've got USB charging and a 12 volt nice. outlet. Nice. In addition to that, with the Fusion Stereo, this particular model has four speakers standard. Those are Fusion speakers too, right? Absolutely. Those are the good ones. They right? will rock it. Wow. So is this a whole new furniture package for this boat or is 100%. this just an extension? It is. It, absolutely. So brand new furniture package. So this is in our platinum gray standard color with the black exterior, a oh. very high volume, high runner. It's perfect. I really like the mate's chair. This is a recliner too, isn't it? Absolutely. So there's swivel, slide, movable armrest, and they recline standard. I really like the cup holders everywhere. I love this back module back here. You know, when you, as a captain, when you're sitting there, sometimes you turn around and talk to the, your guests in the boat. There's nowhere to sit anything. This is a great design, Wally. Well, you've got multiple places to put your beverage. In addition to that, standard are two movable cup holders. Oh, that's great. That's great. And can we put a potty changing room? Is that an option in this front lounge? Absolutely. So we have the chase changing room lounge option or the pop-up changing room option as okay. well. Okay, that's great. I like the storage on this boat. 12-person uh, capacity. Uh, this is a sport tube boat. We're going to go look at that on the outside, right? So Absolutely. I can get a sport tube in this, and what horsepower can I put up to this boat? So with the sport tube, you can max out at 150 horsepower. Oh, fun. Wally, the thing I noticed about this boat is the great space on this back platform. What's this for? How does this work? Absolutely. So you've got extra room behind the rail set such that the family can get in and out of the boat easily, congregate back here. It's a great social place. It's a great swim platform, and it's fantastic for just hanging out and doing the family and thing the, together. The boat's got room on the front and the back, which is really neat when you're on the sandbar, when you're out for the day with the tubes Absolutely. and the kids. I really like the way it works. And then, of course, side mount gas tank. What size fuel tank are we on this? 30 gallons on this. 30 gallons on a 2-2 boat. Absolutely. And this is Plenty a sport for the full tube. weekend. Absolutely. So a sport tube, for those of you that don't know, is a is an individual tube that's mounted in front of the standard motor pan. It's not integrated. It's not a true triple tube. It's not an impact tube by a long shot, but it's a great performance modification to a boat like this. Again, sport tube on a boat like this with a 150, this boat's going to be fast. Absolutely. Really fast. I think the majority of you bring these in with sport tubes in 115s, which is a really nice price point and a really great place to kind of keep the boat at, but it will take a 150 and it will run. And Bob, with that sport tube, you definitely want to look at the optional ski tow bar. Yeah, I can't imagine why you'd bring one in without it. Why else would I want the sport tube? But I really like the profile too, Wally. Um, canopy on this is a lot, oversized canopy on it, D-tubing, vertical round bars, and the color's great. Tell me about these new colors for this boat this year. Absolutely, so we go with three optional colors. You pick from metallic charcoal, metallic navy, or here, our metallic black. Perfect. Absolutely. Perfect. And that flows really well with the gray. Our other color in this is a tan, I would guess? Correct. So we get a gray or a tan choice, and you may want to mix them up with a, the navy boat or the gray boat, probably more gray. But just a beautiful floor plan, the way it sets up. I really like the color scheme on the boat. Um, full skirting on this boat, right? Correct. And corner castings all the way around. Of course, typical Godfrey with your full-length hinges on this boat. She's built like a real high-end boat. But this is a price point boat, right, Wally? Correct, and it, basically what we're doing is we're distilling down the essence of what a Sweetwater is, but minimizing that full playlist of options. And we're giving them that Sweetwater experience 100%. in the experience boat. Right? The first thing I notice on this, because it is a sport tube with that center tube, is we don't extend off the front. Why do we not extend off the front, Wally? Like a lot of people bring that tube all the way out. And for those dealers that are selling other brands, some of our prospects, why don't we do that? 
Well, you want to be able to just sit and congregate at the front, right? You don't want that to be a knee knocker when everybody's hanging around. Great point, great point. And quite frankly, there's no lift out of the front of that until you move at speed, you're moving that water line back. There's no reason for it. I think a lot of our competitors do that simply because it's just easy just to use the same tube they use on the outside. We don't do that. Right, we, we don't take any shortcuts. We build specific tubes for the specific boat. I like the way the docking lights are integrated into it. Really like the corner castings on it and the radius rub rail. It's a beautiful boat. It's gonna be a big, big hit for us this year. The Sweetwater 2286 SBX is a tremendous floor plan. It's a tremendous setup on the boat. It's got all the features of much more expensive boats, but at a great value price. It's got everything you need in a boat, rear gate, capacity, big seats, ability to put a changing room in the boat, ability to put a sport third tube underneath the boat, ski tow bar option, docking light options, and a beautiful fusion stereo system with four speakers standard in the boat, all Bluetooth of course. Check one of these out today, you're gonna love it.